Thermo Fisher Scientific Junior Innovators Challenge brings 30 finalists together for this middle school STEM competition. They're an extraordinary group of young people. The research that they've done, the challenges that they've undertaken as teams, but most importantly, they've made lifelong friends. What we're hoping at the Society for Science and Thermo Fisher Scientific is that they have an extraordinary time this week in our nation's capital. To be a JIC finalist means the world to me. I'm incredibly honored because I get to work with so many other incredibly intelligent individuals from across the country. This is a big achievement for me. I mean, obviously, top 30 in the nation. I'm really proud and I'm glad that I get to be a JIC finalist. It shows how much hard work I've done. It means that I'm a role model for so many other people out there and younger kids, and I really want to help people and spread the magic of STEM. Public Day was um, actually a very good experience. It was fun explaining to like little kids um, who were interested in your topic and try like, explaining it to them in their terms. So we want to give the finalists a really fun experience this week, but it is also a competition. So they are judged not only individually on their projects, but how they work together as a team. I haven't done a lot of team stuff before, so it's pretty new and I love working with other people a lot. I learned a lot about teamwork and a lot about sometimes you divide work up, but it's also really useful to get another set of eyes, a fresh set of eyes on the work that we were doing. It's really amazing working with all these different personalities and everyone brings really new and uh, unique ideas to the table and so it's been a lot of fun working with all my friends on these challenges. It's definitely a new experience but I think one that we've all gotten used to this past week and it's definitely a time that we can take to enjoy what is going on around us rather than worrying about judging. At Thermo Fisher, we're really committed to STEM education access and equity. And for us, what that means is any student who has an interest in participating in a STEM subject has the opportunity to do that. The future of science really depends on bringing people of all backgrounds and all the experiences together to really come up with the best and most brilliant ideas and to solve the world's biggest challenges. For my project, I could only use household items and had no access to labs, but I was still able to achieve these amazing results. And I believe that any children or teenagers like me can perform amazing tasks and achieve their goals. So I'm an environmental activist, so I think that is so important that kids make a change um, and are a difference in the world. If they start now, then there's so much that they can go on to do. At the beginning of my research, I thought this would just be like a small research project that I would do, and I just really enjoyed doing it. As I, as I did it more and more, I realized that I really have a say in the world, and I can really be able to make a solution that can solve a problem. Yes, kids can make a difference in this world. If we can, you can! So what should our message be? Well, first of all, give into your curiosity. Your ideas are always worthwhile. And so many things are possible if you set your mind to it. If you feel like giving up, don't. Meaningful things in life are hard, but well worth the effort. And especially in science, the sky is not the limit. The Broadcom Coding with Commitment Award of 10 thousand dollars. Gary Allen Montalongo! The DOD STEM Talent Award of ten thousand dollars. Sophie Tong! The ten thousand dollar Lemelson Foundation Award for Invention goes to Samvit Mahadevan. The winner of the $10,000 award from the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation, Tyler Mulkin! 
The Thermo Fisher Scientific Ascend Award of $25,000 goes to, from San Jose, California, Tina Jim.